everyone. Welcome to another Pixlr tutorial. Uh, today I got a request from someone uh, to actually make a tutorial on how to make the iPod effect. Now, uh, I was told that there weren't many YouTube videos and tutorials on how to do this uh, in Pixlr. Actually, you'll find a lot of them for Adobe Photoshop. And well, since you're using Pixlr, you obviously want to know how to do this with Pixlr. So today we're going to learn how to do how to do just that. Now it won't come out as good as if you use Adobe Photoshop, but you'll get pretty close and have some pretty good outcomes as well. Now the first thing you want to do is open up an, a stock image that you want to use. Um, I found this image on a free stock image website. I'll put a link up on uh, YouTube so you can find this yourself. But it's just a kid who's rollerblading and jumping into the air, which is kind of the same motion you want to create when you're making your uh, your iPod people. First, you'll notice that the image size is fairly large. Uh, we want to actually reduce that to about 1600 width and make sure to constrain proportions. The reason for that is it'll just make it easier for us to work with the image. Now, uh, here in the layers box over here in this section, double click the lock with the left mouse button. And I'm going to call this original. And then I'm going to right click and duplicate, and I'm going to call the top one there um, iPod Person. Now on the bottom section titled Original, make sure to uncheck. That will make sure we're working with the proper layer. So make sure that iPod Person is highlighted. The next thing you want to do is try and isolate the character here, because that's really the main goal uh, of working with uh, iPod characters. It's just to sort of isolate this image here and make it into a shaded, uh, shaded color. So what you want to do next is get to use the magic wand tool. And 21 tolerance seems good enough, so you might want to stick with that range, but you can change it definitely for your situation. And just left click a certain portion, like this blue area here, and just hit the delete button. Select another blue portion, hit the delete button, and so forth. So just keep trying to isolate the character by selecting the portions around that individual. Now once you get once you get to a certain point, uh, you won't be able to um, select any more portions to make this easier for yourself. Another quick tip is if you get stuck with this weird fuzzy select selection from the magic wand, to get rid of it you can either hit Ctrl D, which will make it go away, or you can go to edit and hit deselect all and it'll make that fuzzy wand selection disappear in case you find problems with it. The next thing you want to do is get your eraser tool and I'm going to use a brush size of 200 and I'm going to leave the hardness at 100. You want to make sure you have a hardness of 100 here. I'm going to view, zoom in, and, and then I'm just going to erase all this excess stuff here we don't need. Again, the objective is to isolate the character in the image. I just want to let you guys know that uh, this is almost the fifth time that I've tried doing this tutorial. And uh, um, it's been a rather painstaking experience because Pixar keeps crashing on me for some reason. So uh, if you guys happen to experience that too, um, I'm sorry about that, but hopefully these stability issues will be corrected. Okay, so I'm just going to you know, go around slowly. As you notice, I actually changed my brush size to a smaller size to make sure that I can work with um, you know, these tighter areas here. So make sure you do that for your particular iPod person. Now if you have trouble seeing other areas to delete, for instance, to erase, uh, I'm going to jump back to this little tool here, and I'm going to stretch this box out more. I'm going to add a new layer, I'm going to drag this layer, actually I'm going to call this layer back BG layer, background layer, and it's going to be our background color, I'm going to drag this down. And I'm going to make um, both the foreground and the background color white for this moment. I'm going to zoom out, 
view, zoom out, so I can see everything. Make sure you're on BG layer. I'm going to select this tool here. Let's see what it's called, drawing tool. Make sure it's a box. And I'm going to left click outside of this portion here and just drag and, and all the way to the diagonally all the way to the other side and let go. And now my background's white. This will just help us see um, some of the stuff we need to delete. Now I'm just going to jump back into view, zoom in, zoom in again, change my layer back to iPod person because I'm deleting the elements from that one and just continue cleaning up a bit more. Now you want to try and get rid of this section here so I'm going to shrink the tool down to 15. Okay, now I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but one thing for sure, one thing is for sure, the longer you spend uh, making this look cleaner, the better your image will look. And a quick tip is, if you make a mistake, you like you cut in too much, hit Control Z to undo, or you can go to Edit and hit Undo up there. Okay. Now this is this is actually the section that uh, this happens to freeze up for some reason. So hopefully this won't happen to you. The next thing you want to do is make sure you have iPod person selected. Go into adjustment. Go into levels. And what we're gonna do is make our character completely dark and make it into a black color. And then we're gonna click OK. So. All I did was I moved this white marker here, left click, held it, and moved it all the way to the very end. And now it darkened the entire image. So the next thing is I'm going to take the magic wand tool. I'm going to click on this black portion, and it's going to highlight everything now. While you're doing this, you have a couple of options. And it, you might want to do this at this point, because if later you do it, it may not work for some weird reason. Uh, go to your gradient tool, and this is, this is the design I did. I, uh, I'm going to use the gradient tool, click on that, click on the gradient option here. I'm going to use this tool here because it has that apple color look, this old style. And I'm going to click on the image, left click and hold the mouse and just drag. You see how that line appears? That's going to create the direction of the gradient and then I'm going to let go. And there you have it. There you have that cool effect. You can also change the direction if you go left to right you can do other types. So I'm going to leave it like this. Uh, you'll notice that only the inside of the selection is actually getting colored and that's how the, the selection tool works. Only that particular area that's been selected will be modified. Okay, now that you've done that, I think I can press the enter button. Well, that doesn't work either. So at this point, what you want to do is actually press Control X or in this case, cut. So I'm going to go to edit cut and it's going to cut away my image and you'll notice that there's this weird um, sp these speckles here that are left behind what I'm going to do next is I'm going to create a new layer actually that won't matter <laughs> so this is the iPod person layer it has this weird little uh, spray painted look I'm just going to delete that I'm going to send it to the trash can and it's gone um, when we hit the control X button or we went edit cut we took that center portion away the, the iPod person now what we want to do is paste it you see now we have a, a clean a much more clean version of the iPod person uh, from that mess that we had prior the next thing you want to do is change the background color in my particular design and you can do this another way I'm gonna turn my background into black so I'm, I click on my background layer, I'm going to change the foreground and the background into black. Then I'm going to click my paint bucket tool and I'm just going to left click into the screen and it turns black which looks pretty good. The next thing you want to do is add some uh, text. Now make sure to click back on the topmost layer and you can rename this again. Call this iPod person. Again, uh, naming your layers is always a good thing. Then click on the text tool. This will create a new layer once you click on the screen. There you have it. I'm going to call this iPixler. 
I'm going to change the size to the max. I'm going to change the color to white. Uh, depending on what types of fonts you have on your computer, you can pick some good ones. Uh, I'm going to use uh, this one here. iPixler. Looks pretty cool so far. I'm also going to add another thing here, which is sort of the catchphrase. I'm going to say it's only image editing, but we like it. I'm going to change this to white. Make the size a little bit bigger. Click OK. Actually, I'm going to change it to that one because that looks a little cooler. Alright, so the next thing we can do is add some effects to our, our text. So I'm going to go in here, uh, right click this, I sorry, left click, so I'm going to click on iPixer, click on Layer Styles, left click that, do Outer Glow. Click on the, the outer glow text here and then just change the size. Make the hardness a little bit and you can see this little cool um, glow feature. Click on its only image editing text. Left click on layer style, do the same thing. Outer glow. Click on the outer glow option size and hardness. You can see kind of appearing there. Click OK. Sorry, I got to speed up just a little bit. I'm running out of time. Uh, the next thing I want to do is add uh, some earbuds onto our person here. This is going to be a little bit more challenging. Uh, so I'm going to create a new layer, call this uh, earbuds. I'm going to zoom in, view, zoom in. I want to get as close as possible to the person. Then I'm going to get my brush tool. I'm going to change these two colors to white. I'm going to change the brush size to manually do it down here, diameter to four. That works best for me. Then I'm going to slowly create some earbuds here. Let's see how well this comes out my first try. Obviously you kind of want to make it seem it's coming out from their ears. And then I'm going to sort of drag it in, make it look like it's going up to their hand. Pretty cool. At this point I would stop, um, but now we can also do one more thing. I'm going to create a new layer, create an iPod. Now, uh, you can probably find a stock image of an iPod somewhere and design this yourself, but I'm going to make one right now. I'm going to click on the drawing tool. I'm going to change the layer to a rounded rectangle tool. So this drawing tool, rect rounded rectangle tool. Uh, make an iPod shape here. Make it white. Then I'm going to change this outline to black. Let's see if that works. And then I'm going to use a circle tool. Sorry again if I'm going too fast. You can definitely pause the video to see this. There you go. I'm going to see if I can do one more thing here. Grab the bucket tool. Make this gray. I'm just going to leave it as this. So now what you want to do is you have your iPod layer here and just drag your iPod into place. And there you have it. So I'm going to zoom out, view, zoom out, and there you go. You have your iPod person um, and you learned a little couple, of, you learned a couple of cool things about um, layer styles as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed the the tutorial. If you have any questions, please drop some comments. Uh, if you also have uh, ideas for tutorials you'd like me to try out that you have a, uh, questions about, please let me know and I can definitely make some tutorials for you too. Uh, again, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, have a great day, guys. Talk to you later.